Hello brothers and sisters, how are you today? This is again your friend and your sister Via. If you are uh, if you are new to this channel, before you go, if you're going somewhere else or you're just dropping by, but I encourage you to please stay. And before anything else, before my message, I just want to bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord turn his face on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. May the Lord give all the desires of your heart and all your plans succeed. The plans that is according to His will succeed in Jesus' name. So um, what, I'm, what I wanted to say today is uh, I do understand, we do understand as well, we do perceive that the, so much uncertainties are going on in this world today. But what we can do is we need to confirm our calling and election sure that we really need to make sure that we are truly for God and not on this world. We are for Him, we are going to serve Him and not to serve the, the concerns of this world. And, um, and He said that um, He has given us already all our, everything that we needed in order to live a godly life. And He has His promises, precious promises on us that what He will never leave us nor forsake us. That whenever we are challenged, we are facing trials, we are facing turmoils or persecutions or calamities he said that he is there for us if we call on him he will call he will um, answer us he will be, deliver us he will lift us up from where we are and he will be with us in our troubles that are those are his promises brothers and sisters that we could cling on so what I'm saying is, in times of uncertainties, we could only cling on to His love because this, that is the only sure thing that we could hold on. So we confirm our election sure and our calling to Him, that we are only for Him and not for this world. And it is His promise in Second Peter chapter 1, verse uh, 3 to the following verses, that He has given us already everything that we needed in order for us to to live a godly life and he has given us his precious promises in order for us not to be conformed to the pattern of this world but to him alone that we could be victorious if his promise is for us to be for him to be with us for him to be truly uh, encouraging us giving us the giving us the strength giving us the the, the courage to go on uh, that we are not fearful but we are strong in our faith in him that we will not be um, included in this world that when this world is going to collapse or going to vanish or going to be crossed then we are not going to be crossed with this world but we are going to be victorious we will receive the favor of him that we are going to be um, welcome richly welcome in his kingdom in the eternal kingdom of God, of Jesus Christ, whom we are believing. So, um, how could we remain faithful to Him? We could, um, we, how could we remain to Him, remain in His love? Um, we establish a good relationship, as we have said before. We need to have an intimate relationship with Him. Establish an intimate relationship with Him that um, in everything that we do, we consult Him, we, um, we call Him, we invite Him in our heart, we invite Him in our, in our plans, in our decisions. We consult Him in everything that we do. That's how we are going to establish an intimate relationship with Him, like a husband and wife that they, they, they cannot do anything by their own selves, but they need to talk about it first and then they come into a certain uh, decision that they meet at one point and then they're going to do it. You know, it's the same thing, even more, that our relationship with the Lord is just like that. Though we are not seeing Him, but through our faith, we truly believe that He is with us and He is truly working with us. He's working for us and He's working through us. So, but He said again that add to our faith in order for us to be victorious, in order for us to, have, to live a godly life, then we need to add to our faith goodness. Goodness, right? He said add to your faith goodness. 
and goodness, self control, uh, and goodness, um, knowledge, and knowledge, self control, and self control, perseverance, perseverance, godliness, and godliness, mutual affection, and mutual affection, love. So um, he's given us already the instructions of how are we going to live our lives in a godly way. So goodness. So um, he said goodness add to our faith like a decor, you know, at the decor that add to our faith. We need to be good to others. As it is, his, his, this is command already that we need to be uh, to love our neighbors like ourselves. Aside from loving Him as a, uh, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength, we need to love our neighbors as well as we love ourselves. So um, we are not supposed to be mean towards somebody else, but we are going to be caring. We are going to be full of concerns, full of love, full of um, attention or full of concerns really that we really need to extend our hand extend our feet extend whatever we can do to them in order for them to lift them up to encourage them because we all know that not everyone are exempted from suffering this discouragements suffering trials and tribulations in life we all need one another so we need to be good and he said add to our goodness um goodness knowledge so we need as well to read the word of the lord read and meditate it's day and night and um knowledge when we are knowledgeable already they we need to to um have um self-control okay self-control because truly um the world is really there to entice us to allure us you know to do such things that's not truly pleasing to the lord our god but if we are reading his word and we truly uh, apply it into our lives then we have the self-control we are going to be victorious because we are not going to give in into the enticement of the of the enemy give in into the allurement of to do this world because we have that self-control that's coming from the holy spirit that is in us and then uh, aside from um, self-control perseverance we need to persevere we are just just to keep on going on keep on going on no matter what happened because we know that god is waiting on the other end you know in the end of the day we are going to be seeing him because we persevered in all our trials and persecutions in life in all our problems we did never give up because give up should say because he, uh, our our uh, visions is our our intentions is to be with him that's our um, our desire the desire of our hearts to be with him on that day because um, being with him is only for those who truly persevere and kept on fighting the good fight of faith and aside from perseverance we need to be godly uh, add to our perseverance godliness godliness that like um we are truly living our lives as he is through us there are people are seeing him in us okay in us and mutual affection mutual affection that we are truly caring and loving for one another that his we have one mission we are one vision and there, that we are working hand in hand towards the fulfillment of god's promises towards the performance of God's plan here on earth, building his kingdom and, and love, mutual affection. He said, add to your mutual affection, love, love, love doesn't see any record of wrong. So no matter how they, get, they wrong us, no matter how they make you angry, you are able to forgive them because you are full of love. You are not seeing their sins. You are not seeing their mistakes. You are not seeing their their negative attitudes or whatever uh, uh, whatever that they're doing against you that makes you enraged, that makes you so angry. No, you can you can feel that of course, but because of the knowledge of the word of the Lord that it's not good to give in to that, then you are um, you can control yourself and you are still able to choose what is good and pleasing to the eyes of the Lord. So those are my messages for you that we need to confirm our calling sure that despite of the uncertainties that's happening in this world, we are choosing to live a life that is godly, pleasing and acceptable to the Lord because He is in us and He is for us. He is fighting for us. 
he never leave us nor forsake us okay god bless you and i hope that had encouraged you even a little bit